Hey everyone, welcome to Vetracer. I am Ananya, a first year veterinary student in Orthanadu Veterinary College. So this video is going to be about how to apply for All India Quota Counseling. This video is for the students who are in one state but want to apply for veterinary colleges that are situated all over India in different states. What are the criteria of applying colleges in different states and what are the steps you need to follow for applying in All India Quota Counseling and what is the priority order in which you should fill the colleges. What is the registration fee for different categories and when will the veterinary counseling start for 2022. These are the points we are going to discuss in this video. So stay tuned. After declaration of the result, you have to check the websites regularly for new information like date of counseling. First you have to check the dates for registration, the last date of registration and then first round of counselling, second round of counselling. Like that you need to check the websites regularly for information and you can also take assistance from YouTube videos. And uh, first of all you have to participate in the registration process. In the registration process you have to give certain amount of money depending on your category. After registration, the first round of counselling starts. So, in the first round of counselling, you can put the colleges according to the list you already made or uh, they, they give some time between registration and first round of counselling. So, in that time also, you can make a list. You have to give priority and choice filling according to that list. If you are allotted a college, in the first round itself then you need to go there and report along with the required documents that include for document verification you have to make the documents ready beforehand to avoid panic at the last moment because sometimes the days gap between the uh, first round of counseling and the second round of counseling and the last date of reporting will be very less so and uh, if you are allotted a college that is too far from your home and you are going by train then you won't be getting time so always remember to make the documents ready before after reporting all your documents will be checked and tallied if you are eligible then you will get that college now you have two options if you got the college of your choice then you can uh, mark the options as freeze that is you will be taking that college if not you can apply for upgradation to another college by choosing the float option in the counseling if you got the college of your choice in the first round itself then you have to wait for the in instruction given by the university because they will open the college and they'll start the first year when all the rounds of counseling are over now talking about the float option in which the student opted for upgradation in that you can uh, participate in the second round of counseling and one thing to remember here is that you can only get upgraded to the colleges that are present above the college you got that is if according to your list you got the 10th college then you can only upgrade to the colleges that are present from number 1 to 9th. You can't upgrade to the colleges that you gave at number 11th. So take care and take caution while filling the list before only. And now the students who did not get college in the first round, you can apply in the second round of counseling. You need not uh, pay the registration fee again. But if there is some student uh, who did not apply for first round of counseling but wants to apply for second round of counseling, for the first time he or she is participating in counseling, then they have to pay the registration fee. Similarly, if you did not get college in the second round also, then you can participate in the third or more round of counselling. The steps are same, but in 2021 counselling, they took some extra charges for more round. Now we will talk about some rules that were 
uh, applied in the 2021 council the first and most important rule is if you are allotted a college in the first round but did not report there you will be out of the whole counseling process the same follows for second round and mop up round and the second important rule is if you are allotted a college in the first round or second round you cannot participate in the mop up round uh, just tell me in the comment section if you want any other video regarding the colleges that participated in uh, counseling of 2021 the rank list of colleges or the priority in which i filled the colleges and uh, the cut off the expected cut off of 2022 so these were some points that we need to keep in mind before and during the counseling process i really hope you like the video thank you for watching keep loving animals